Nine Z started on the CT side though. That is the less favorite side. This time around they will wisen up. They will choose the favorites. The play good utility in, but there's two players on the plat and they sidestep all of that utility. Penny finds the first turtle. Helping as well. Max will get a trade and turns in now in a difficult spot. DGT from Ebox finds another two for the price of one. And the site secured to boot. No kit present for Made in Brazil either. Makes this retake very difficult. They have to go very quickly, find the kills cleanly, and stick to the defense sooner rather than later. Yeah, they got to go fast. They've got to get something in here. Try does fall, but Henny's down to one HP. Buddha around the corner. Max around the obelisk. And Sani takes the peak spot and tagged down. Contact by Buddha and finished off. Max takes care of Henny. Finally puts him down. And he'll swing on to... Uh! <laughs> Do you see those new skins? Regista tem CSGO Fest e faz os teus teammates invejosos. Dá boost na tua inventoria em alguns cliques. Coloca o promo code e obtém bônus. Link na descrição do vídeo. Go, go, go. Nice shot. Image that they can scale off of into a round victory, into a site. Sonny around the smoke. Caught by David. Smokes our client side still. And David takes full advantage of that actuality. Henny will hold the line though. And David walks right into his crosshair. Good reposition, good trade back for Henny. Still a 4v4 though. Opportunities arriving for 9z. Bomb to be recovered. Oh, set up not a lot of time left. No, not a lot of time, but if they can say isolate one of the sites, take down one of the ops, it makes the retake very difficult for me to Brazil. The issue is there's two players on either site. One plant and one rifle. All top comes in. Burns in though is the one to find the opening on the big green. He's falling back as well around the platform. Trying to survive. Buddha drops his teammate though. The op has to come in big and it only finds one. Two versus the two. The bomb is down though. There's no time left. Henny drops one on the cross. He gets on site. Does he have enough time? I don't think so. Not with that spam. Max forced to go for the duels. Does he Not fall exactly after? The gun you look to to do the damage is try on that AK. It's David on the deagle. The tech nines and DGTs in Buddha's hands. And Sonny caught. He hits the scroll wheel. Jump trying to get out of there. The flash comes in too late. Looking for another pick. And Turtle, I don't know what he's doing. Just sitting out in the middle of the open. He might be a turtle, but he wasn't in his shell. Two players towards the plat. One on Evox, one on site proper. Just sitting on the bomb. And mid result coming from one direction makes things very difficult. Player mollied out. DGT double thinks down one. Burns in gets David. In the meanwhile, the nose the player in the corner. But Burns in finds a second. Henny a third. Okay, they're actually getting the kills. Smoke down the bomb. They know where the last one likely is, but Buddha on timing finds one. Oh, finds them both. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is... This is pretty incredible. This is such a good performance from them. Try. That's another nice opening on the op. And Sonny caught through the smoke. Max going to take advantage of that. Turtle pushes aggressively. Henny going to get dinky. Does a lot of damage as well. Can't finish off Max. Who has help as well, but it's going to be him to finish off the job alone. Max with another one, and Buddha found Burns in the interim. Turtle, the last man standing. It's a messy, scrappy round, a mid fight. Brawl. Turtle, last man alive. Go. Out the gate sprinting. What was it, 13 2 at the end of the first half? I think they stole Yeah, they stole away the last part of the half with a ninja defuse. Yeah. And so that was where they got their second. Burns in. Burns 2 1 alive. Finds a second with a, a team flash. The opportunity for Mid Brazil to get a second on the board. Oh, definitely so with that. Three and four for Burns in. We mentioned individuals needed to come alive. Burns in finding four, leaving just a try in the one versus four. He's found a first, but he needs three more. And Henny is posted on the crossing with his own op in hand. There's rifles for a trade too. A peek from Insani will shut that down. And I think a lot of utility damage taken towards the middle as well. Insani give it up going towards exit sign, but. It was in more or less control. I say that Max and DGT combined finding the kill. A good opening secured. 9Z not letting off the gas. In fact, changing up the pace entirely in this round number 12. And the site. It's a full on A blitz. They do get the bomb or should get the bomb down here pretty quickly. Buddha keeps hunting as he is feeling it. But he is put down. He was a man on the tech nines. You can expect that to be his plan. Just close the gap. Get up close and personal. Do some damage if you can. Very least, though. 
Gonna hold the line. Burns and peeks around, though. That's a nice double tap on the try. Molotov onto the platform. Max holding close. Has a couple of different angles to watch. He gets caught looking the other direction. Another one from Burns, who is heating up very quickly. A double swing, a triple swing, and they all fall in due turn. The bowling pins hit the ground. Either way, Aiden Brazil do secure a fourth. They're looking for a fifth as well, and they might find it because 9C's buy is beleaguered. Burns in up close, takes care of one of those AKs. Turtle has Max on a plate. Burns in another multi-frag before Fry can put him out of his misery. Fry doubles up, but it's a DGT now with a clutch. One from the window. Yeah, 9Z have equalized their scoreline from the entirety of two maps last night. Burns in, though, a backstep onto Max, and David gets caught by Insani. Pissed around, already looking good for Made in Brazil, which is fantastic. It's exactly what they need here to get back into their map pick. They picked it because of their dominating performance. Try, though, going to try and shut them down with headshots. He's running out of ammunition in his magazine. No time to reload. He's got friends from behind, though. They need to help him out. It's Buddha to drop the bomb, which sits out towards heaven. 3v3 to a 3v2 as Try has found his head. Buddha coming in and Saudi dumpstered. It's up to exit now out towards Platte. And what looks so good for Maiden Brazil now looks dire. One man, no armor, and a Glock up against three 9Z members, all with Kevlar, all with the vests, and USPs ready to tap him away, the bomb at their feet, like hens on an egg. Exit creeping around, spots DGT, drops down, silent and a dead leap. The blinds out of DGT, flips around. Heaven's a problem, but Exit's found two. He's brought this back. It's up to try who wins the day, and 9Z. There are two players here in an aggressive posturing as well for the defenders. It's Try and David up close to personal. David plays MP9 in the best spot possible. Turtle, though, drops his support, his cavalry. And now he's stuck on an island. Alamo in towards the main. Burns and catches the flank. And Sonny from behind drops David. Defense felled. DGT as well taken down by exit. The last alive is Buddha. He was that player we've been praising time and time again. He's top for the server for his team. But a 1 versus 5, even with the HP on an exit turtle and burns in, is simply an irrecoverable situation. Playmaker. 9Z, their defense, bolstered by rifles. Now they got that one saved rifle to really flesh out the investment. Try will have an op. There'll be rifles across the board and utility. And David will start things off right for his team with a kill. Try, this is the shot in return. But you know what? They both survive and they tag turtle down to 9. Exit through the smoke on a spam. Drops David. They still mow the platform for a good measure. DGT is taking up that position, and it's a very scary spot to be. Made in Brazil shifting gears, looking across the map, looking for pressure, looking for aggression, and also looking for openings. A reaggress towards the A main for exit, catches DGT on a timing. Very well done there. Made in Brazil shifting things back towards their favor now in a four versus three. Sani lurked all the way down middle as well, could catch these rotations. Buddha's here for the fight against Insani, but Insani just drives by him, shuts him down. Henny will have Max on a platter. And try will not try for a retake here. Maiden Brazil on the T side, showing why Anubis is such a T sided character. Nate. And the kit. It's a very big call for 9Z, and I think it could work out pending. On these opening engagements buddha one for one they spot the second player crossing as well that leaves him alone try timings everything it's in a very niche angle there's three players in he box he'll swing into the op slowly as well it's a kill for three for henny and the player back obelisk does not fare any better burns and finds that and max is he ready for the flank they know he's here max you're stuck and sonny takes him down at range praise to them for the investment but we cannot say the same for the execution 9z picked apart cleanly and slowly, deliberately, I made a Brazil. David, last alive for spawn. Burns and doesn't quite find it, but he gets control. A good read from Made of Brazil across the board on the C side. Good swing from Max, though. A confident swing is what nets them an opening. First kill secured. And Sonny towards Canals, though. It's a trade, and he looks for more. Boot up. We'll get the trade. Maintain the advantage tenuously, but Henny on the off. Clops right on back. Henny, in fact, nope, doesn't double down. Through the wall, he'll do damage. Turtle instead is the one to bring the favor to Made in Brazil, finding Max over towards B, towards the temple side of things. He's David and DGT. 
Big Mouse swings in. Oh, Turtle misses the duel. Exit, though, drops DGT. It trades across the map. And they are maintaining the advantage for Made in Brazil. David in a 1 versus 2 against an Op and an AK. It's an uphill battle, to say the least. No utility, no kit. Only 7 kills to his name. 23 rounds into the game. Looking to try and fix that, but he eats that flashbang. Moving around towards window. Looking down. Drops down. Taps it. Take from Henny. And he'll win the fight. Tie ball game. 12. 26 seconds left. They have to make a choice. It's going to be A. It's going to be A. There's a player back sight. Second towards the exit sign. Burns and finds the first. A nice opening. DGT up close. Could stop it all, though. Swinging in is Burns and he finds the second. We talked about his double kills, his multi kills. And he does not fail to deliver in this round. Try. Might finally finish him. What? No, Burns and tripling down, in fact, leaves Max alone and isolated across the map from the action. 14 to 12, all but guaranteed. The only question in this round is will Max be allowed Team? to save his rifle? The question is can this buy find one and then lead to another two? Because that's what they need. Three in a row that go unanswered. If that's not the case, Made in Brazil will be sending us off to nuke with their own map pick in the back pocket. Buddha's blinded, burns it with the one. You know, he has another one when he gets one. He's always good for multi-kill. Two-man advantage for MIBR. And they're just going to continue to scale on forward, looking to just sweep 9Z under the rug. Ignore that first half, folks. That's why I was always apprehensive to say 9Z. We're going to run away with it because of the potential of T half for MIBR. DGT only one. Try to a 1v4. No opportunity at all. He's already been tagged. He's fleeing from the site. He does catch Henny, but there's still so many more players to find. Another Molotov behind, and Turtle finishes him off. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Map number two is upon us. Made in Brazil. Oh, almost 20 in 12 rounds jeez Let's try to get that 4.0 kd back Nate. Oh. that's a good opening from turtle buddha goes one for one as well try trading out on the exit but burns and has added another one to his tally looking for another multi-frag here as made in brazil cannot afford to lose many more rounds out of this half Molotov to J-Hall, DGT and Try getting down the ramp, the bomb making its way down, but there is a player watching for it, and Sonny just inside the double doors towards control. Window broken, information for made in Brazil as another player makes his way down, smoke down, DGT off plant, but it's a perfect laser by Insani. Try, no way to get a refrag out of that one, and I think he's just going to try and save this one at this point, or... Make sure he doesn't get knifed at the very least. There's not really much you can do out of this half, uh, out of this round, and it's going to be MIBR grabbing a fifth, a very critical fifth round. Talked about it though, hyped it up. Sure, they're winning a fifth round, but the big but. They need to win a second. Just do what they can here on map two. If they win it, awesome. If not, just do not stop trying. Do not stop moving forward. Move along onto Ancient, but that does become the case. Try with one, Buddha gets picked off, and Henny has two in the rifle. Not on the op as he would like, but he gets a lot of damage done with that one to a 3v3 again. Max looking at her yard, spotted and removed by Exit. That's a messy fight, and one Max should be winning. And Sonny on 9 HP, holding the squeaky door, and he might just catch DGT, who just slips behind and goes back into it. The bomb drops for Insani. And David with a 1v3 up in heaven, dropping down. Has not been heard, but getting that bomb is going to be so hard, especially with Burns in the fence. Burns is the insurance policy. He should be the one that secures the round. A good kill onto Insani to start, but well, he knows Vence is a possibility. It's quickly. Oh, he looks for it, but exit. Exit in the back of lobby is the one. Get a little bit more assertive and no outsets a possibility. Adjust without forcing the duels. Pushing the lobby. 
Oh, but DGT lurking around in towards Squeaky finds one. Burns and now comes back out of the hut. Turtle does drop DGT finding the trade, but the op is too quick, too ready for Burns. And they know that lobby control was the attempt. Try doubles down, dropping Turtle as well. Exit and Henny, the last two remaining. One outside towards CT spawn. Might be caught by the player Heaven if he's... Careful. There's a player down below and Henny does drop David. Three versus two. Don't think they go for it. And he's sitting in CT spawn. Exit is here, though. Exit actually flashed in. It looks like they are attempting it. Exit for forces himself into the side. And he'll find the first. He'll tie it up. This suddenly becomes much more doable. Henny's raced forward as well. Planted on the back of sight. They'll compel him forward. Max, though, wins the critical first duel on the op of Henny. It might find one, but there's no way. It Molotov towards double doors. Max goes for the jump spot. Sees no one. Swings out. Does he have help? He does. Burton's able to get one. Henny swings for the next. And that's a nice little one-two punch from the MIBR veteran and one of his young guns. Molotov to clear out the fence, but Henny's long gone. Turtle falls in the meantime, though, out towards J-Hall. DGT punching him out. And with Henny's health so low, he is very wounded, but still the 5-7 up close, and they will have to clear him very, very precariously. Lives in here as well. It's like a crossfire. Mm -hmm. There's all a all fast the ramp. I th no, there's nobody ramp, but this crossfire is good. It is, but he's cleared. Never mind. <laughs> they correct yes, they do. David finds that kill. It looks so good. It looks so promising, but duels are won rather cleanly. David. Again, he can do no wrong. 22 kills. Exit will find one to tie it back up. He drops DGT towards the ramp, but one has been secured, and so have the post points in the back hall. And Tani, again, on only an MP9, makes things difficult, makes things awkward. And I like this angle from David. Again, he's playing from above. He's playing from a position of seemingly higher form. 22 kills, looking for a 23rd and potentially 24th. The MP9 is getting close. David, though. So good. He finds the first. He finds the second. South American close qualifier. Grand final winner. Goes to Poland. Loser. Stays at home. David a good nade. A well-timed one. Max with one. But David cannot continue his fine form. A blind Buddha gets dumpstered by Henny as the Glock swarm the A site. The bomb is looking to go down here. But Tri still awaits them in the heavens. Turtle actually just spot him out, though. And he will fall. That's a good little bit of work by Tri to delay the bomb plant. And Max has also found time to come through on rotation. Insani trying to hold for him gets caught. Henny has not planted it. DGT tries to follow Try. And Henny's low on ammunition, tagged and all but bagged. A flank into heaven. It works for exit. Max has done so much damage, but he has to get these kills. He's dancing around the silos. There's so much at stake. So much. Three bullets left. He'll be forced to reload. Forced to capitulate the plant at the very least. But he'll now inch forward. A refreshed magazine in his gun. He'll swing forward, does some damage to Henny. Two Galils on exit and Henny. We'll get the job done against two players, Max and DGT. One shot headshots available there, but beyond that, it's going to be very difficult. Buddha and Try start things off well for 9Z in the rifle round. Dropping two, burns it, and Turtle taken down without much of a fight being offered. And Sonny behind the vents. Spot Max either. The spot could be important. It could be impactful for Made in Brazil to get back into it. It has not been acted upon as of yet. There we go. And Sonny peeking out finds one in heaven. He's spammed away by David. Though the spawn player pushing forward, taking a stead. Ooh. David on one. David twenty eight. And he might just get more. Oh. Ooh. Master's curse leads to a double entry on towards A. Now things get awkward. This is an investment for everybody except for Turtle on Made in Brazil. They are taking this A side. Henny, in fact, finds Max and DGT. It's his it's turn. Not. There's no return. There's no chance for Buddha on that one. He just gets air striked. More like an artillery strike. But the end result is the same. Exit gets caught on a jump smoke, though, and Tri will be very happy to grab that. Max is around the red boxes. Henny's not watching for him. That's a free B. Now there's another one around boxes. I think Max is waiting for that flash. Yes, he is. Good assist from Tri, but in the meantime, DGT gets caught. Tri has come through J-Hall, and he has struck onto Insani. Because they're at first round loss here, or close to it. Okay. okay, that's big. That's huge. Not losing an extra guy. Because, I mean, yeah, they're wary of that nade stack towards Silo, but it's a vent drop from MIBR. They creep through the smokes and down to be DGT caught on the drop, and he can find nothing but death. The bomb will go down. Max is caught. Save call has to be made by 9Z, unless Try can do something a little more than one. Exit right there for the refrag, though. Burns in another one from outside. It's quite a down. 11. He yeah. revealed his position. He doesn't need to die yet. The found, he can though. get another kill, get the double man advantage, and have the pistols flood into sight while he just provides cover. The hole's been found. There's four players stacking A with the op ramp. That means no one's towards secret. 
Player down below, it's gonna be a beast split. All on this duel versus the opera. How much are they going to give? Try, they give him a second, they give him an avenue out as well. Burns into the vents, no cut off the rotation. It might even be a double back towards A with that double. Looking for the 30, might even find it. Heaven player has exposed himself. He's dropped, burns in. Does he spot the deagle? He does get the kill. David trades, but now he's alone and on an island. Two versus two. Try on the no scope, finds one. Try finds them both up the vents. Yeah, their money's still bad too. They only mm -hmm. two players survive. The most money in the bank is 2,000 on max. Sure, he'll find one. They line up oh. for the off. He finds one, attacks the second. Henny will trade. But can he find the second? This is the duel that could really bring Made him go back into it. He finds it. Well poised from Henny. He finds that kill as well, despite the low HP. And the three versus two is now secured. Buddha and DGT both have had quiet match. And DGT up heaven. This gamble is the right call. The question is, will it work in their favor? I spot the player having blue spot Mustang Turtle. No, he's caught. Buddha drops and DGT swing in off the contact, finds the other two. DGT very aggressive for a trophy. Buddha run into. There's a knife out for Insani, and Buddha's gonna drop down. He's heard the one that slipped through the gap. The bomb drops for Buddha. The confidence boost for the Miko frags, fueling his fire and pulling him up for more. DGT runs into Henny, catches him looking the wrong way. Too many angles for Henny to hold, and he doesn't have his trusty op in hand. Just a Galil in that round. Max down the vents now, grouping up with the bomb. Buddha around the angle, exit on the decon stairs. Burns and coming down secret, but Buddha. Buddha's ready for him. Gives him a parting gift of a cranial cave. And next, the last man alive. Nice. Caution to the wind for both teams. And it's now made him just trying to make something work, trying to throw something at the wall. It's 13 15. If they lose this, they're out of this map. And yet they go in towards A with reckless abandon. It's one for one pistols, one Galil, one hero Galil. And that Molotov just further delays the plant. It in fact takes down the planter. It's kills back and forth. It's chaos and pandemonium. But it ends with Try in a one versus one. Henny has more HP, sure, but Try has the big green in hand. Time is everything. And Henny has found it. And the aggression that they go for this instead. A walk towards right. There are two players here. Smoke goes down. DGT off angle. Only good for one. Try on the op. Misses. He lines them up. And Sonny and exit. Shown the door as he finds a pair. It's Burns in and Henny. Sure, Henny bailed them out in the round prior, but that was a one versus one with the Galil in hand against the compromised opper. This is a two versus four. An entirely different ball game. They have 45 seconds left. They have the bomb. But what can they do to get back into it? This flank heaven has to do it all. Try, drops Henny, that's the bomb. And that should be the round. Burns in, walking in on the flank. Sure, he'll find one by novelty of the position. But what beyond that? 30 seconds left. He found the first. He found Try. The player pressuring in will get the trade. Buddha will prevent overtime. 9Z are starting on the T side. Leads me to believe they've won the pistol round. Turtle up here with the duelies, though. Can ruin their day. They run into it, and David's going to fall as well. Doubled up for Turtle. Not a single point of damage taken. And maybe even more as he deals some on to try. DGT tucks through house, and the reload catches Turtle. DGT doubles up on the exit as well, and maybe even another on to Henny. The Glock, an inexhaustible magazine, and Henny gets dinked down to oblivion. DGT's 3K allowing 9Z an opportunity to win the round. The bomb running to B, or to A rather, and D. Which is, he's a big part of the reason why 9Z are here in third map. Without Buddha, they don't make it. Some very high, timely kills. And Sonny though, through that mid smoke exit combines with another tribal trade back onto Burns and the damage has been done. It's been absorbed by 9Z. The guns are out for MIBR, and so are the kills. Another one, this time on Abuda, in towards Cave. It was a very potent post plant. Two players in towards Donut. No smoke to obfuscate their hold either. All top on the ball. I think it's over. I think it's curtains at this point. I don't think Mace Brazil can do anything. One player caught, sure they get a trade, and sure they might even find a second. But there's no way they win this. I think Try, should he survive? Does he survive in this corner? He does. He might. First of time, I'm going to be on that. A jump boost middle. I like the idea from Sonny. He's up catwalk now. David pushing forward though, expects it finding one. Exit a good trade. Exit doubling down. Tripling down, combining fire with Burns and who's finally on the board. I was going to mention full engagements. Exit around the donut will not be cleared. Buddha goes for a knife jump across. The op from Try will strike for another. He is yet to fall, but that should change momentarily. Henny will change go down. That. It's going to be a much more difficult proposition. Henny starting it off with a man advantage. It does help out significantly. Try leading the charge onto the B site with an op. Not exactly the easiest thing to do, but he does capitalize on the turtle peeking around the cube. Henny, Molly, blind is try, but still able to get the job done. Bomb going down. 
They know there's a player in towards Cave, a Molotov to force him back. And DT lurking MIBR again. MIBR might just have to save again. And look at DGT on this lurk. Yeah. He's been lurking up with the wazoo, and it's been working. They know it's possible. They're actually watching for it. Which is will they be able to stop him? No. DGT drops exit. And Sonny now stuck in, between a rock and a hard place with an op in hand. Burns and will probably get to survive here in towards A main. Time is everything. And DGT is just reading them like a book. He won't win the duel. His execution, less than ideal there. But he still does a lot of damage. And Buddha is hunting voraciously. He knows what's up. He's running it down, trying to find this kill. And Tawny, back towards the ruins, should survive. A free sight taken. Very pensive holds from made in Brazil. They are scared. They are scared. They will harass. They will prevent the bomb fight. They will find one. And now things get awkward. A lot of players in a very small space. Kills go back and forth. Lots of damage taken. And Made in Brazil might have finally, finally found a winning recipe. And not a second too late. One versus four for Buddha. They walk in towards Jaguar. Burns in the first player is low. And as is in Sonny. With 10 seconds left, he's just at this point, grasping at straws, honestly. He will buy this. I'm actually save his rifle for the following instead. It's an okay call. I would say it's definitely okay. But a win with four players. He made a Brazil. Four best. Not a good situation to be. Pissed around a, a requirement to come back into it. As is this round. Three kills going on answer. A fourth the possibility. Made in Brazil might have finally found a way to recover. One for one. Four versus one. Try will try as darn as he's been the juggernaut. One and two through the wall. Okay. He's made me believe, but the lack of HP makes things all the more difficult, all the more burdensome. I like these angles. A short, close, headshot only angle really does work out for him in this situation, but so many angles to worry about. I don't think it's possible. Henny closing the afforded space in favor of Try. Try on the back of sight. Will be going to ESL Challenger Katowice, and one of these teams will be left with nothing. Boost up for 9Z does not start well. The duelies dispatched. Tenny takes him down. Try from the back of sight. Try as he might, he will not find the shot. And Sonny, Super Soldier P250, finds the headshot at range. CT is being whittled away slowly yet surely. DGT finding inroads, and those inroads are lost elsewhere. Turtle drops max. Buddha does not fare any better. Turtle finds his second in the round. And DGT, at this point, trying to save the Kevlar. Might not even be allowed to do that. He's. Tagged, spotted in the back lines, just desperately trying to stay alive, desperately trying to isolate duels that will not be given to him clean. Mate. Something that comes to haunt 9Z. Compromise investments. DGT, though, solid throughout this map, finds one exit, a good trade. DGT trades his teammate right on back, and Max finds another. Four versus two, burns in and turtle. One out towards A on an island, spotted, and... Dispatched by a try. Not long. But at some point, you have to make a move, and they don't have a lot of utility left to do, so now they're going to go in towards the A side. Rotations can come through. David needs that opener. He does not find it. Max eats a lot of damage in that fight against Insani as well. DGT rotating into Temple. Going to sit back here, wait for his friends to come through and help out. Lots of utility flooding, and all of it has been expended by yet. Made in Brazil. And Max gets caught on the boost, and DGT goes down in Temple. Hold up to Buddha. Made in Brazil should have another on the board, and they will stay alive. They will. Go I can see it. There's a chance. A lot more enticing than this. Burns in as an armor and a Glock, by the way, which is like to add. And he actually does get an upgrade, so now there's a chance. But Turtle falls to DGT, or to, Tur uh, to Max, rather, and Try gets a big tag. He's still alive. And as the trend has continued, perhaps it will finally be bucked. The bomb outside of A? Max falls, but so much damage dealt. A lineup no. The optics exit around the corner. Down goes Try, and that means MIBR win the round, and they have the advantage, too. If you do believe in the superstitions, if you do believe in the trends, it is going to be a made in Brazil round. Buddha walking up next in line. David, though, drops Burns in in the meanwhile. Does he expect Exit to sit in this corner? No is the answer. No way. Exit has no one. Way. Bomb is towards A, though. That's the issue. He's trying to buy as much time as possible for this bomb to rotate back. He finds the kill eventually. The bomb is still going towards A, though. It's double back, and David has bitten no. this fake hook, line, and sinker. Good pre-fire to find the first. Doesn't pop the second. Ten seconds left. The bomb plant is on A. David fakes it. Doesn't know. He has to know it's Donut at this point. He has to just assume yep. it's Donut. Donut or A-Man. 
sticking it this time though, and Henny did get a rifle. Yeah, had to go and How play could the game. He? It's not like he's CT side or anything. He's got an AK. His team. Whoa. Okay. What is uh -huh. this? <laughs> okay. What? The trend's broken, and so have 9Z. Execute failed. 404 not found. Two players trying to run by, blinded and isolated. It's heavily. Nuke, slightly. 9Z able to hold on to Nuke, but Ancient starting to slip out of their fingers. Max, he sprays too early. Turtle can try and trade. Try is alive, and he will survive a little bit longer. And Max. There's a strike back from Henny. Try falls to Burns and B site under the control of Made in Brazil. But DGT strikes back from Cube. Another one for him at three on the round. Looking to ace it out. Oh. But Buddha finds it with the USP wall bang and eludes Henny's off shot. Henny P250 out in hand. Not the start they were looking for here. The team did not have to play a, pri a prior BO3 today. And Sonny shuts down Buddha despite his low health. There is still one man here on B, but only one, that is David. He's had a very quiet map three. Quiet map one and map three, very instrumental in their successes on map number two. But he's stuck in the middle of the open. Dies to Burns in. The rotations have come through, though. The time has been bought. DGT boosted it up. He will spray away, but he can't convert it. Max falls in the interim. And it looks like MIBR have found a way to hang on and stay alive. Yeah, they're going to make the right call. They want nothing to do with where they know 9Z have to be. They're on their way to A. There's two players who want this clutch. It's DGT and Dry, 28 and 23 respectively. The op's still in hand and good amount of HP as well to boot. And he's holding for the door push, but both are kind of just lurking around towards B. Bomb is just at a standstill. 20 seconds left, they're just sitting in middle. Burns and will find one towards B. DGT still lurking around. Bomb is making its way over towards A. There's the round. Made in Brazil. Time and time again ad nauseum because everybody forgets it from time to time. Made in Brazil though, changing the pace, changing the gears straight towards A as the call and some early openings. Actually gets split evenly. Three versus three and tries ahead of it. Ahead of the Molotov with an op in hand. He's looking to be the difference maker. He's burning alive slowly at Shirley. Tenderized down to a 36 HP. And Made of Brazil have let off. Yes, they've slowed things down. They've turned elsewhere, switched gears, exit towards middle. Secures the exit strategy, or so he thinks. Try trades it right on back. Two versus two, AK and up versus M4 and up. And again, no kit. They will race towards Jaguar. David is waiting. He's had a slower map three, but a solid, a solid map number two. He swings and he finds one turtle. Good trade back to even footing. It's been trade for trade in this third, or this potentially final round. Turtle planting the bomb. Toward glass cannon, keep that in mind. Oh, the eight Scout and MP9 still lacking that kit, lacking the utility. This is when they can come alive. Try exchanges blows over towards the long side of A. And Sonny though opens it up. Henny a second, exit a third. They're all falling one by one. Burns are just getting a An overtime on the third and final. This is fatigue city. Try takes a shot. Can't connect it with the op. Backs away. Turtle up on sight. MIBR swarming in. Finally, Try gets one. DGT adds another one. Two for the price of none for 9Z. And an opportunity for more. So still closing the gap. The bomb going down. But then he falls to his compatriot, his counterpart on the opposition. Burns in the last man alive at a 1v4. And 9Z off the back of their Taking timeout. 56 points of damage. Nearly going. And Sonny spotted by DGT. Removed by the very same man from house. Double man advantage again for 9Z, who are clicking on all cylinders, clicking on everything. Now my BR. This was their strong side. This is where they got the job done to get the comeback to happen. They're struggling to put this one over the line. Struggling right when they got back into it. Knocked right back down. Three versus five. They're walking to the cave. Two players made it. Max from 9Z. Roger's not in the right spot. He'll do a boatload of damage, but he won't get the kill. Buddha's lucky to get away. His teammate, not nearly so. EGT dropped. Three versus three somehow brought back. I made in Brazil. Buddha back long. Has support from David towards short. David secures one. Bomb is being planted, but the advantage still remains. Henny on the up. Has to bail him out. He finds one. Misses the second, but survives. Player on site. Could do it all. Exit. Finds David. Spamming away. Unable to hit the shot. It's try to try and pick up the pieces. 
up in hand. He'll throw the nade onto the site. That player's not tagged, though. A little bit more damage on top. He'll try to find the op, but Hanny, while blind, looking to keep it at one. Sonny towards middle, pressuring towards deep. He goes very close. Goes flash in. He finds the first. It's actually David to combine fire to find that. Both players survive as well. In Brazil, no inroads towards middle. They'll instead quickly change gears over towards A. I like the idea, but tries waiting at range. Up in hand. He'll drop burns in. Five versus three, again secured. Made of Brazil bailed themselves out of one such situation before, but can they do it again? Position. 14, 13, 12, they have to go. 10, 9, 8. Got the first on the cross, the lineup for David, he gets- As the bulk of 9Z is grouped up, there's a boost up as well for exit. This is a well-placed setup for Made of Brazil. Push comes in, not checked. It's the second time at minimum that exit has found a kill from this spot. The bomb is dropped up top to add insult to injury. And 9Z might have just punted away what was another opportunity at series point. Space accordingly. Still only one B defender. Second is quickly coming to form up rank, however. Max needs to keep a lot of pressure here. Good shot from Max. Looking for the second over towards Long. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Okay. Now things get interesting. He was one of those heavy hitters. He's at 26 now. And he has secured the bomb plant and a good amount of space as well. Try can hope for the rotation middle. Things suddenly look a lot more interesting for 9Z. In Brazil, they won't test the opera. Sure, they'll go towards spawn. But it still sets up Max and DGT incredibly well for this bait and switch. Flash over. Max dodges two lined up. He gets one for one. DGT won't be coded in. He'll hold the angle, the off angle. He'll find another in the round over towards long. At least just Henny, the opera. He's been so important in the overtime. He's found the first but he doesn't know where Try is. He's baiting on, he's hoping on it. He finds the kill. He finds the round. Made in Brazil. Stay alive by the skin of their sword. And if they do, without throwing utility, they could just blindside him. He will turn around and we'll hear that smoke. That will give it away. He'll look in their direction now. Timing is everything. They will press forward. DGT lurking in Jaguar in the meanwhile, looking for something, but Buddha is the one to open it up. And Sonny dropped back sight. Henny now line up for two, almost the third. He will fall. But he has secured an opportunity for the team. He found a double. Two for one. Ties it up into a piece. Turtle and Burnson. Both in towards CT. This flank from DGT has to be timely. Has to be relatively quick. Because if not, the defuse will come through. Burnson inching for David. Oh, buying time. Down. What a swing. What a swing. He's just Turtle alone. He knows the flank is a possibility. He knows it's probably what's coming through. There's the silver spotted by DGT. The timing almost works for Turtle. Temple, of course, still an option. Better clear, please. They don't. They do. Okay, still gets the kill though. <laughs> yeah. I just want to make sure they're clear because we've seen that happen so many times. One for one, actually one for two. Turtle drops one. Four versus three. Three versus three. Good shot from Try. Burns and drops the planner. That is a critical kill to find. It might be the turning point that made a result to find their first and the second bout of overtime. DGT drops Burns in, but the flank in towards Donut will further delay the plan. Tenny. Also a menace in this overtime. Timing's everything for Turtle here. The op is posted. The op finds it. What a kill. It's now Henny. No scope on the first. He's living right as he backs away towards Temple. DGT turns around. Jumps up. Caught by the boost. There is a trade from David who doubles it up. Looks for a third, but he cannot find it. Exit to a 3v3. And now be aggression from 9C. They are looking to just soak up every bit of map control like a voracious sponge. This is what I wanted to see from 9Z. Some calculated aggression. We've not seen a push through T-Spawn like this. I don't think ever from 9Z in regulation. Uh -huh. So it's going to be totally unchecked. Look on the free kill. There we go. Spray down. That's the bomb spotted. 55 seconds left. And now Made in Brazil are left in a very awkward spot. They have to clear all the way up. They have to disentrench this player who's now stuck in the back lines. Buddha <laughs> playing around the tree. Holding onto the twig with sheer desperation. Bomb will be recovered. Henny and Turtle. Henny dropping the op to the AK. They're going to group up. They have to take down Buddha, but time is gone. Buddha. Every second he takes from them is another opportunity. He finds a second. It's just Henny. He's bailed them out time and time again. But a 1v3, 20 seconds left in his own spawn. He's where they buy guns. And it's just too far away. 22. Rage on that beat going crazy.